you have to find a location that is supposed to become the center of the settlement. Once chosen, you won't be able to change the location again. As a result, make sure you place the town center near key resources such as water, trees, and debris remnants. First off, we have to ensure survival. We need water so that we don't die of thirst. Build a jetty by a body of water and assign enough workers that our supply is secure. The jetty produces water as long as workers are assigned to it. Always make sure that sufficient water is available. If the supply runs low, assign more settlers to work at the jetty. Water alone is not enough to survive. We need to eat, too. Build a foraging hut near trees and assign manpower to it as well, so that the workers search for food. The foraging hut produces food as long as there are sufficient resources in its vicinity. If a region's resources are used up at some point, you can relocate the work area of a foraging hut at any time. We need building materials to be able to build new buildings in the future, too. The woodcutting lodge cuts down trees, which produces wood. If you run out of trees at some point, you can also relocate your work area.
Awesome. Your woodcutting lodge is already producing. By the way, a production site can produce faster when it stands near a depot. Although you don't have any depots, the town center has the same effect. Besides wood, the most important building material is scrap. That's what the scrapyard is for. It collects scrap that lies around and takes apart old ruins. Well done. On the other hand, our settlers are still sleeping out in the open. We ought to change that before we enlarge this settlement any further. Shelters provide for housing and can boost the efficiency of your production runs. Each building belongs to one of three settlement branches. The more buildings that stand in one settlement branch of the settlement, the more these buildings progress in that branch. This progress enables us to do research on new buildings from that branch. More about research later on. But that's not all. Production buildings that have a dwelling from the same settlement branch nearby function distinctly more effectively too. If an ecological tent stands next to a jetty, then the jetty functions more effectively. In contrast, the scrapyard and woodcutting lodge profit from economic tents. As long as they have enough housing, our settlers will reproduce and have children. Children are tomorrow's manpower and can work as soon as they have grown up. Our settlement is thriving. Now we want to produce a new resource, plastic. Build a recycler to do that. If the scrapyard is nearby, the recycler produces faster.
Buildings that process resources work faster when they are located near their source. The recycler needs scrap to manufacture plastic. That's why it benefits from being near the scrapyard. The toolmaker not only needs scrap, but wood as well. It's best when both resources are produced near him. But don't worry if you're not able to place him perfectly. Naturally, he'll attend to his work anyway. Engine running! Very good. Now we have plastic and tools, things which are needed in some buildings for production. They are also important to be able to build more complex buildings in the first place. The settlement is growing, and soon the supplies won't be sufficient anymore. More settlers consume more food and water, too. Build a fishery to support the foraging hut. Though the fishery is more effective than the foraging hut, it constantly uses up tools for its production. If there are no tools, then the fishery can't function. Conversely, the fishery produces faster when tools are produced near it. Now, we also need cloth to be able to set up more tents. Cloth is produced from fibers and we have to grow them first. To do this, build a plantation in the vicinity of fertile soil. The only way you can create a field is on fertile soil. Well done. 
Up till now, we can only grow fibers. But if we find more types of seeds, then we can cultivate them on the plantation too. The fibers are crafted into cloth at a weaving mill. This requires water in addition to fibers. Great! Now you can set up more tents for our settlers to create space for new inhabitants. This is necessary too, because we're going to need a lot of hard-working hands. Keep in mind to place the tents near the appropriate production buildings so that they can function more effectively. Thanks to our joint efforts, our little settlement is soon not going to be so little anymore. If the population increases, then the settlement's supply situation has to grow too. Apart from the jetty, you can also build wells that can pump water out of wet, swampy marsh soil.